Julie, as part of your role at Bank of Montreal Capital Markets, you've pioneered the Mentors and Parents program that's designed to help guide aspiring and new parents through all the challenges of coming in and out of the workplace as they become new parents. What are the key elements of the program? We're trying to replicate the organic mentorship that, that seemed to consistently happen with the few women that were working on the floor. Um, so, you know, a lot of water cooler chatter about when someone, it was obvious they were pregnant, for instance, and all the, the chatter that we happened to have in an organic way, we wanted to put some framework around it. A lot of managers have never had somebody on their team going through a parental leave, so it's hard for them to really be educated other than what they see on the HR website, exactly how to handle it. So um, this, this program was supposed to help mentor both the managers and the people who are choosing to take parental leave and help guide them through the process. So how does the mentor program go about building that trust between the mentor and the mentee? I think it was just about finding the right fit, who had similar experiences, who was relatable, who had a manager who was experienced in shepherding people through this. And I also had these women that I was also very close to because we'd worked together for many years. It's not just about the policies, it's about morning sickness in my office in the morning and someone's got to cover for me for an hour until I get myself together again. And, and that, you know, surprisingly, it may be more frequent than, than managers might think. What does the mindset of a mentee need to be to take best advantage of the Mentors and Parenting program? Maybe someone who's actually even led by example. So if you, if you see a man or a woman who is, is juggling the hockey games and juggling the board meetings and juggling this and juggling that and able to, to, to tackle it all, and, but, but in, we, we all know that's imperfect, it's, it's impossible to tackle it all, but someone that approaches that balance with, you know, with the expertise they have in their job, but the integrity they want to bring to the firm, but then also, you know, as a good father or a good mother and the things that they know is you have to deliver in the home life. So this is a challenge that all companies, uh, but particularly big companies, Fortune 500, Fortune 1000s face. What are the learnings out of the MAP program that can be applied to those other big companies? It's all very personal. And I think the big companies have these amazing frameworks in place from an HR perspective or, or, or life works, like all of these, these programs they put into place. But if there's no human that you know that you can talk to about it, and, and HR just doesn't seem to have, not just BMO HR, any large HR company, they don't have representatives that can guide you through, you know, how you're feeling on any given day. Are we at a point with the success of the program at BMO at least where HR recognizes the short-term productivity hit that the organization might take from a parent, a new parent going on leave was way offset by the long-term productivity gain that's coming from that team member. I think it's a slow moving journey. I think it's a slow moving journey. So I, I think it depends on the personalities of the managers in place, the people in HR and, and the, you know, the, the friends and, and even loose mentors, not even framework mentors, but, but sort of organic mentors that someone has to, to communicate with that make them feel empowered to make these decisions and that they're still gonna be highly valued by the firm. I think that's, that's what helps marry those two things together where, where the employee feels really good about it. <laughs>